Hello, I'm Saba Douglas Hamilton, Chair of the International Selection Committee of the Future for Nature Awards. The reason I'm so passionate about Future for Nature is because it celebrates and promotes talented young conservationists from all over the world who are fighting to make a real difference to the conservation of plant and animal species. Protecting our biodiversity and enhancing it is probably one of the most important things that we as humans should be doing today. And these young people are truly putting an enormous amount of effort into this cause. They are shining lights in what has sometimes seemed a very dark period. And it is an enormous pleasure today that we are now ready to announce the winners of 2021 for Future for Nature. Hello. I am Franz Lanting. I speak out on behalf of nature in all its forms, through my work as a photographer and as an author. I am thrilled to be the guest of honor at the 14th Future for Nature Award Ceremony. The biggest lesson I've learned from a lifetime of documenting nature around the world is how interconnected the natural world is, but also how fast we are dismantling it. This challenge needs to be tackled. And the conservation heroes recognized by the Future of Nature Foundation give me hope that this can be done. So time to announce the winners. These are Mohsen Rezai Athogolipur from Iran, working to prevent the bycatch of rays and sharks by implementing bycatch devices and monitoring schemes. Carolina Araya Sandoval in Chile who are saving the little Chilean wood star, a miraculous hummingbird of which only a handful still exist in tiny patches of forest. And Monica Torres, who has set up Project Abronia to protect the habitat of the Campbell's alligator lizard that is endemic in Guatemala. Congratulations to you all, and I look forward to greeting you in May. Congratulations, Mozen, Carolina and Monica on your incredible achievement today. I really can't wait to meet you all and welcome you to the Future for Nature family. Well done. <laughs>